Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing the daily numerology and this one is for November 2nd, 2023. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 11 and you can add the one and the one together to get the number two. Now the number two is a number of duality, negative mind, critical mind. It's where we get pulled by opinion and where the mind rationalizes or decides something which then pulls things out of unity and do and into duality. The number 11 is a number that wants to transcend that duality. It wants to look outside the box. It wants to see things from a place of overview and perception. But as you can tell, there's always a tug of war between those. The number 11 would be considered a number of enlightenment. And so it's kind of a, a number of non-dual consciousness or Buddha consciousness. Whereas the two is the classic number for, you know, humanity and how we get caught in opinions and we make judgments um, without all the information. So today we reflect on a world in a state of expansion and contraction, which is the number 11. As we live in a world of duality, everything has polarity and an opposite. We breathe in and we breathe out, which is why in meditation, they always make you focus on your breath. You know, that you learn to become one with that duality or that polarity that's within you. We have our side that we show the world and the shadow side that we don't. Living in a world of duality forces each of us to learn to embrace all that we are not just the parts that all that we are, not just the parts that we like. And that's the challenge. Denial of aspects inside allows them to split off, hide, and to become a saboteur that can eventually undermine our conscious reality. Learning how to hold both lightly and embrace all that we are as part of this life's journey. We are here to bring what is in the darkness into the light. We are here to learn to love all parts of ourselves, the good and the bad. True forgiveness does not come from blindly only seeing the good in others. It is when we learn to accept the humanness of each person with all their quirks and failures that we eventually find the understanding that comes from recognizing that most souls are not conscious around their unconscious parts or their own shadow selves. <coughs> their good self often does not remember what their shadow self has done. It is up to us to see past the facade of the ego and look deeper into the wounding of such souls and see that more often than not, their darker parts are there to defend and protect their vulnerability. And sometimes others get in the way and those shadow parts unconsciously lash out in very odd and inappropriate ways. When we allow our shadow to come into the light and uh, at the light of our awareness, those darker parts do not need to hide and sabotage us because they finally feel hurt and understood. That is the way we move into wholeness. Only then will we be able to see how to help others also become more whole. Today, embrace the duality within and that way we will learn how to deal with the duality in the world. Thanks everyone.